Today I want to welcome a special guest. Her name is Elizabeth Sharp, and she is a representative for doTERRA Essential Oils. I've known Elizabeth for a long time, and uh, she, she she's going to talk about it a little bit here, but about five years ago she had a big health scare, and that's what got her investigating alternative therapies, alternative treatments, and ways of healing your body without going the mainstream route. So uh, I'll let you listen to that, but really excited for this interview, really excited also to get her on this podcasting platform. So I hope you enjoy it, and uh, let me know if you have any questions after the episode. Thanks. What you're doing right now and any information that may help people? Okay, well, I don't know. We've known each other a while. I don't know how many years, but it's been years, and Um, I think that we connected uh, because of your lovely wife, but also as our families got to know each other, became friends and um, our interests in health are mutual. Uh, My interest in health, uh, really, I've never, I didn't grow up being a healthy person. I mean, when I was in graduate school, I may have worked out and before I had kids and a family, I did all that. And then life happens and you get out of shape and you just start doing life. And um, I didn't learn how to eat very well. And so about four years ago, almost five now, I had a health crisis where um, I had my doctor wanted to make sure that I got a hysterectomy because I had endometriosis, which is scarring of the uterine lining, and it was causing infertility. And um, I have one child, biological child. And um, so doctor said there was no hope and there was no other option after two surgeries and lots of um, hormone treatments. And we decided to w- go ahead and, and schedule the hysterectomy, my husband and I. And in the end, did some research and found that the hormone replacement therapy they were going to put me on um, was linked to osteoporosis and, and uh, stroke in women. And it was a very causal link. And at that point, we started searching for some alternative methods. Uh, we had a friend who had introduced us to doTERRA essential oils and supplements. And and uh, at that time, we called her and she introduced us to uh, Dr. Marissa Snyder in the Bay Area, who then did a consultation with me. And basically, long story short, uh, started this on a regiment of of natural healing um, and the body's natural ability to heal. And that led to me being healed and also led to my husband being healed of type two diabetes and high blood pressure along with lifestyle changes. So that's what got us launched on this. And four years later, uh, my mission is to really support and encourage and educate people to heal naturally. Um, And I'm sure we'll talk about why sometimes the alternatives are not as good for our body. Right, definitely. And and actually, just kind of a side note, uh, I thought it would be more valuable in this in this kind of podcasting format if maybe we do like an every week or an every other week show that's a little shorter. Oh, okay. And maybe each week talk about one topic. So actually, this week I wanted to talk a little. If that works for you, I don't want to. I don't want to make assumptions. But this week I I I wanted to talk about one piece of advice that you would give people, because I know you're still busy. You mentioned that you're a busy mom and, you know, life happens and all this stuff. I know you're still super busy. Like you, you're just doing all kinds of awesome stuff. Uh-huh. How, what, what's changed though? What advice would you give people? Like you're, uh-huh. you're still super busy, but you're getting it done as far as your health. Oh, okay. Well, it's funny you should say that because, um, yes, um, everybody's busy in the Bay Area. Everybody. I don't think there's anybody who's not busy. Um, moms just happen to be a little busier than most people. So um, in January, I'm actually launching um, on Facebook a support coaching group for four months called Daily 15. And basically, I've narrowed it down to four basic daily steps to start with and then build upon that. And so when as, as I looked upon my health journey, um, I thought, well, gosh, what, what, what did I do that I was able to sustain? Because I really want to support people in doing things, like you said, things that are daily. The whole key to health and fitness is daily. What do you do daily? Not what do you do, these big programs and things that we can't sustain. So the four things are, and, and they're really simple, and they literally take 15 minutes a day, and that's it. They, I, um, I can actually get people started 15 minutes a day. The first thing is a green smoothie. So I really believe in the power of green smoothies. And green smoothies are amazing because you can make them. And I've timed it in literally two minutes and 32 seconds, um, depending on your blend. <laughs> so you can actually, in a very basic recipe, basic, 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 one-third liquid, 
So water, I use water, one third leafy greens. I use usually organic spinach or uh, Costco has a great um, uh, power green mix that I think is four ninety nine, and it has charred kale and spinach and, um, and uh, a fruit of some sort, fresh fruit, frozen fruit, doesn't matter. Um, and I always say anything can go in a smoothie except animal products. And the reason I don't put animal products in my smoothie is because it increases inflammation. And when you talk about working out and being in the gym, you want to reduce inflammation. You don't want to make inflammation worse because that leads to pain. So... The green smoothie is one of my sustaining, sustaining every day, 32 ounces every day. The green smoothie is one of my sustaining, sustaining every day, 32 ounces every single day, 64 on better days, but 32, um, which is two spaghetti jars um, every single day, whether no matter what's happening, no matter whether I eat good, eat bad, no matter if it's a holiday, not a holiday, no matter what, because it is going to give you sustained energy. It's going to reduce inflammation. It's going to help the body restore tissue and healing. It's going to balance hormones. It's going to help you sleep better, deal with digestive issues, um, and help you lose weight if that is your goal or help you maintain weight loss um, or not increase in weight if that is your goal. So the green smoothies, most people have a blender, and most people can go to Safeway or Costco. So you don't have to – I tell people do that first before you even join a gym. Before you do anything, do that first. So that's one thing that I do every single day. Nice. Perfect. Uh, so maybe the next three weeks we can talk about the other things. Yeah. I think that's a, I think that's a great start. Uh, I, um, yeah, I really like these little, these short podcasts that people can consume quickly yes. because like you said, people are super busy. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah. How does that sound like the next couple of weeks? Would you, yeah. would you be down to do this again? Absolutely. Absolutely. We can do, you know, really short. And I think that, What's overwhelming for people is they think they have to do it all in one shot. And I didn't do, I did mine all in one shot because I had a health crisis and, and the good news is I was healed and I was able, but most people need daily, very small shots. And so, exactly. uh, Baby yeah. Yeah. And then just as far as exercise, since you're a trainer, I, exercise is not something I like to do. Exercise is something I do because it makes me feel better, but it isn't something that comes naturally. So I just want to share my quick exercise because it's been, that was yeah. my last health goal that I had to overcome this last, like, Oh my God, how do I get the physical? Because it's really important for all kinds of reasons. But um, what I did is I just do, I started with five minutes a day, just five. That's it. No more than five of doing something I could do naturally. And what I could do naturally were one or two things. I can either jump on my rebounder. So I have a rebounder that I bought for my son and, you know, jumping on that, for an hour is a thousand calories, which is amazing, but I can, I can't do an hour, but I did start with five minutes and that really has helped. And then I have two, small two small weights in my house and I just do five minutes of weightlifting. And then if I take my son to the park, I do natural body lifting, you know, weight exercises like, um, like, you know, get on a, on a, on a bench and do tricep, you know, put my hands behind me and pull up on Mm -hmm. and do tricep pulls or, Yep. tips or push-ups and you know I do you know kickboxing standing I just start kicking every time I push my son on the swim I bend and you know I I just lunge and just that those are my two exercise tips so that that helped perfect I love it and and, and you know I like you said I'm I'm a pretty fit guy and it really does come naturally to me yet at the same time I have a very I have a soft spot for people who hate the gym or anything like that and I think it's really a large part of it, at least, is conditioning from, mm-hmm. you know, the big corporate gyms or, uh, you know, no pain, no gain mentality. Because most likely, if you think back to when you were five, six, seven years old, probably your favorite thing to do was just go out on the playground and play. Mm-hmm. And to, to me now, I still feel like every workout is just a chance to play. And mm-hmm. I know some people, you know, they'll make every excuse in the book to not go to the gym, which... I, I feel bad for people who, who do that because I really do feel like it is just a chance to go out and play yet at the same time. Uh, yeah. Great advice to kind of dip your toe in the water, right? Five minutes on the rebounder, gentle exercises. That's great. So yeah, cool. I'm really, really excited that you made it on the show and uh, again, tr- play around with the anchor app because I think you'll really like it. I think it's so great. much fun talking to people. But uh, yeah, we'll chat next week maybe and and uh, 
come up, you know, with the next health tip out of your four, your daily four? Yes, sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, Elizabeth. Again, Elizabeth Sharp. And do you, Elizabeth, do you have a website or? Um, I don't have a website, believe it or not, but I do have um, a Facebook. Um, you can either look me up on Facebook at um, Essential Excellence, or you can look me up on Instagram on Essential Excellence. So no, no Facebook. I mean, no website. Got to get that done. But yeah, or you can call me too. I'll just give you my number. If anybody ever wants to just text 408-561-5137 um, is the quickest way to catch me or ask any questions. Or if you're interested in the... podcast you just heard was recorded with anchor if you want to make your own download the android or ios app completely free from anchor.fm slash podcast that's anchor.fm slash podcast